Uh, hey everyone, Blaine here, and uh, I'm going to show you uh, how to program the FMC uh, in its entirety for Zebos 737-800 in X-Plane. Um, I had made a video about how to do this uh, earlier, several, uh, I believe several weeks ago, and uh, because Zebo uh, updates the, uh, the FMC and the aircraft so often, it's really difficult to kind of stay ahead of the curve. Um, I had done an update video on a major change he had made, and uh, I feel like there's some fragmentation uh, in, in people watching the video because they see it and they have trouble, but they may not see the update. So I'm going to make a complete video right now of uh, what you're supposed to do to program the FMC in entirety. So, so with that in mind, uh, let's begin. So uh, we are in San Diego, and uh, let's start by turning up some of the uh, displays and lights so we can have a little bit of a better, better time seeing things. My uh, flight sim buddy Nick calls this setting the mood. <laughs> okay, so with that in mind, uh, let's go to the FMC. We're using version 3.22x, uh, so that is the version that this is going to be uh, for. If you're using a version, a version that is more current than this, there may be further changes um, and uh, they, you may have to figure out what they are uh, or how the flight model has changed because Zebo does uh, update this aircraft a lot. Uh, so with version 3.22x, let's begin. So we're going to select FMC, position initial, enter our reference airport, which is San Diego, so KSAN, into reference airport. We're going to hit root, and we're going to enter our runway that we would depart from, which is runway 27. We're going to enter our destination, which will be Los Angeles, or KLAX. We're going to put in our flight number. This is more important if you're using air traffic control, but uh, I like to enter it in just as a matter of, of repetition, and uh, that's also my personal call sign. We're now going to go to Preference Initial. We're going to enter our cost index as 50. Our reserves is 1. We're going to select our flight altitude level, which will be 12,700. So we're going to go 1, 2, 7. And then we're going to hit Execute. We're then going to go to N1 limit and set our, uh, our temperature. So that is located, we find that out just above the engine screen, so it's 15 degrees Celsius. So we're going to go backslash 15, and then we're going to line select here. We're going to select 22 KD rate and climb 1, and then go to takeoff. We're going to configure takeoff for 5 degree of flaps. Because we've now entered flaps into the FMC, as a matter of good practice, it's good to actually deploy the flaps. 2.5. We're going to select our trim, which will be 4.63. Uh, so on the trim wheel, we're going to set that. Now these go in integers of 1, so we want to be about halfway between 4 and 5. Back to the FMC. We're then going to select our V speeds here. And because we have 138, we're going to want to enter that in uh, to the MCP, as well as our altitude. So we're going to go 138. And uh, I, I had to make a change earlier, so it's already set, but you would normally enter it here. As you can see, uh, because we've already set our flaps at 5, so that's good. Back to the FMC. So we're now going to go Departure and Arrival. We're departing from San Diego, so we're going to select Departure. and We're going to select our SID and Transition. Um, I've done this flight many times, so I know this stuff already, but uh, if you're not sure how to get a SID and a STAR and things like that, uh, I suggest you visit my uh, Sky Vector and Navigraph video, which will be in the description, and that will tell you how to use that software. Uh, Navigraph is a paid subscription, but it's like $10 a month, so it's really, really affordable, and uh, it's really an important tool to have. So we're going to select FALC1 and SXC. We're then going to go to Root and Activate, and we're going to activate our uh, flight plan. Just a sec. So that's activated. We're then going to go to Departure and Arrival again, and we're going to hit KLAX Arrival, and we're going to select our star, which will be Ocean 3, and then we're going to select our runway, which will be 07 right, and our transition, which will be John, and then we're going to hit Execute. So now that that's programmed in, we're going to go to the Mode Control Panel here, and we're going to set this to Plan, and we're going to change our our distance to 10. Then we're going to do our funny kind of zoom out thing here so we can see the FMC and the nav screen in the same window because we're going to be going through the flight plan uh, basically waypoint by waypoint to make sure that it's uh, it's all configured. So we're going to hit legs 
and we're going to select step. And we're going to go through each waypoint here. And right after a transition, you can see that there is no magenta line and we have a discontinuity. So because of that, we're going to have to fix that. So if we go next, we can see that uh, Geely is the one after that. So we're going to select Geely and then we're going to go previous page and we're going to remove the discontinuity. So we're going to line select it and we're going to replace the discontinuity with Geely and we're going to hit execute. Now, if we continue going forward with our step function here, we can see that we are now able to, we now have a connecting magenta line. However, it's going back in the wrong direction. So because of that, we don't want any of these waypoints to be here because they're going in the wrong direction. So we have to remove all of them. And so each time you've programmed the flight plan, it will kind of do this depending on there may be a discontinuity or a difference in, um, in direction. So you're going to have to account for that. So because we don't want to go to our transition and then turn 180 degrees and head back to San Diego, we have to remove all of these waypoints. So we would go uh, continue hitting step until we are kind of back on course to our uh, our destination. And I can see that this is where it's going to be. So we're going to use Doyle and we're going to line select Doyle to get rid of all of those waypoints. And then we're going to hit previous page page and we're going to replace right after our transition which is SXC to Geely. And we're going to hit execute and then if we go along step again we will see that we have a connecting magenta line and that we now have a straight line for our, for our flight plan and that's great that's what we want to see. Uh, you can also see now that uh, right here we kind of have a weird thing after Doyle we have two waypoints right next to each other which would cause the plane to do kind of a radical you know turn. We don't want to do that. So we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're going to select John, then we're going to replace Murma with John, and we're going to hit execute. And now we have a straight line. So with that in mind, we're going to go all the way back to the front, and we're going to do step again. And you can see our waypoints all connect, and we are heading to Los Angeles, and we're all good there. So that's great. The next thing I like to do is to configure my FMC approach speed so that the aircraft kind of has an idea of what it should be at uh, for the, uh, the speed. So how I do that is when you actually get into flying, uh, you know, full flights, your, uh, when you get to top of descent, your init ref page on the FMC will show you what your uh, final approach speed should be. It's usually around 130 knots. So what I generally do is I do 135. So I go one, three, five, and I go backslash, and I line select fumble, which is our final approach fix, the last waypoint before the um, before the runway, and I go execute. So now the FMC knows that's the speed we should be at. And then as how I do it is I go up in intervals of 20. So I would go one, five, five, backslash, and I'd go to the next one and hit execute. Then one, seven, five, backslash into the next one. And then this one here, because if I go to previous page, it's 250 and then 250. I, I usually do for this specific flight, I go 205. And execute. And then if I hit previous page, we have 250. And we have a pretty big distance we have to get to uh, before, before that. So 205, 175, you can see it slows down kind of uh, generally there. So. Our flight plan is configured, it is activated, our waypoints connect, and our approach speeds are entered. With that in mind, everything that you've done in the FMC is now complete. So you can go back to the MCP, change this back to map, and set your uh, distances that you want. You still have to configure the rest of the aircraft for flying, but uh, your FMC is programmed in here uh, completely, so that's all done. So with that in mind, uh, happy flying. Thanks for watching.